Hi, I'm Barry Foster. And I'm Gary Foster. And welcome back to Antipodean Journey. This is episode number 12 with UP Langrio in the Segunda Federation Grupo 1 in Spain. And this is season number two for us at this club. And it's shaping up to being, I think, a pretty big season for us. Well, they're promising signs all, all around, uh, trying to build on a, a relatively successful season last year. Um, new season, new dreams and uh, new hopes for us all. Oh, that's right. And there's been quite a few players, well, leaving the club. Let's yes. take a, a very quick look at the uh, the transfers, because that was quite a busy little schedule there. If um, we go right back to the very beginning, at the end of last season, mm. a DOF actually signed a pretty good left fullback, Eric Vega, for just over €10,000. And we'll just quickly bring him up here, a lot of arrows coming down. In fact, he's our new captain well, as well. yes, we've got high expectations of him. But um, I reckon he wasn't a bad signing. Uh, he's got some pretty good attributes there. He's only 20 years of age, and that was a signing made by our DOF. And when we look at some of the other players that have um, come in, we've uh, we've got a, a Nikola Glusevic. Um, he was a new signing for just under €3,000. He's a striker. Once again, a pretty young player, but... Um, Pretty good finishing. Yeah, very good finishing stats and, um, yeah, highly recommended. So we've, we've got high hopes for him. We do, and also on a free transfer, um, a DOF signed Ator Manis, another young striker, only 20 years of age, but I think he could be a handy player as well. Yeah, probably good backup um, in the first instance, but, um, yeah, Barrios, our DOF, he, was, uh, he had quite a busy summer signing. He did, and from um, Eric Mon... Monjanel, all the way down to Mattia Barzik. Uh, they're all uh, lone players, all of them are central defenders. We won't run through every single one, but um, we were very short on central defenders and uh, we were very lucky to get all those players in on loan. And I think some of them are going to be quite good central defenders. And the final guy, guy is Dago Rodriguez. He also came in, in on loan and he is going to be uh, a goalkeeper. Currently, he might be just back up, but he might be um, first choice. Yes, well, he came in on transfer deadline day because we had some issues with our our goalkeepers, uh, our goalkeepers from last year. Um, they probably we could attract a little bit of criticism for having lone uh, defenders, but we've changed our formation also this year, so we're, we're playing with wing backs. So uh, central defenders are going to be an important part for us. Um, well, indeed, and let's have a look at the, uh, the players who've been released because that was a pretty busy time. And as you can see, um, from Elaine all the way down to Piccoli, they've all been released from the club, mainly because none of them wanted to sign new contracts. Bit of a shame because Elaine, I think, was our second top scorer yes. um, last season, yes. but he was getting a bit on yeah. in age. Um, but most of them, well, some of them have gone to new clubs, some are uh, still looking for clubs, but they didn't want to um, sign contracts. So they were shown the door, and uh, a further three players also went out the door because, once again, they didn't want to sign new contracts. And the, the third one was um, Gilly, who was one of our keepers last season. Yes. Yes. Keeping uh, uh, Torres um, on the bench, but uh, he wouldn't sign a new contract, so he went out the door as well. So quite a few movement here with um, with players, and we've had a very short pre-season. Um, we'll just show you very quickly um, how that has panned out, and compared to last pre-season, yes. it turned out to be pretty well. Uh, yeah, yeah, very successful. Uh, four, four good wins, not. Um, not dynamic, but when you compare it to, to last year, um, a, a big improvement. And um, um, yeah, fingers crossed for a uh, for a positive start against Bergentinos. Yes, that's the the uh, the opening um, uh, competition game away to Bergentinos. So that'll be a pretty tough fixture for us. And as we, uh, you mentioned earlier, we have changed our tactic to a five-three-two, but playing mm. with wing backs, which I don't particularly dislike. Um, I think it can be. Quite good wing backs. Yes, they can. Uh, they can do the job. I must admit, in personal saves, I haven't relied on them terribly much. But we've got Vega, who's come in, and we, although we're relying on wing backs, we're probably a little bit skinny 
in those positions. So we need to uh, have a little bit of lady luck on our side with injuries and form. Well, uh, that's that's true. And if we have a quick look at the um, the uh, the predictions for um, the season, uh, season preview has UP Langrio. Gee, we've moved up to fifth position, Good fifteen grief. to two. Yeah, um, yes. we were sitting in seventh <laughs> position only uh, a moment ago. Yeah. But um, so they obviously they like the squad we've put together. Yes, well, the um, the fans and the uh, and the board they're expecting a, a mid-table performance. Uh, or a mid-table finish, considering we finished sixth, I think, last year, where we came home mm. with a with a wet sail. I, I think we can certainly challenge for a playoff position and possibly overachieve. Well, you never know. The board won a top half finish. So that's the uh, the main thing we've got to aim for. We're slightly over on the wage budget. Not too bad. We're down to six hundred and ninety. Um, Euros. Yes, well, that's that's okay. As I said, Barrios, uh, he had quite a busy summer signing signing players, but we need to put the brakes on him just at the moment because we've got a fully registered squad. Yes, he's been keen trying to sign some um, quite, um, let's say, uh, not young players, yes. um, but we have just um, stopped <coughs> a couple of those coming in. So in a nutshell, that's what's been happening with uh, UP Langrio do- during the off-season. I guess without further chit-chat, let's go and play our first league match of the season. This is when it really counts when you start playing league football. And we're away to Bergon Tenos. So let's go and play Bergon Tenos. And here's the, uh, the starting eleven for our game today. We've got Torre in goal. He's just keeping Rodriguez on the bench for the, uh, the time being. Across the back line, we've got Barzek, Monjanel and Garcia. Rodriguez and Vega will be the wingbacks, and in midfield, Kassan, Pavida, and Sanchez, and up front we'll have young Perez and Sanande. So let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, so first game away from home. Um, I think we need to be impressed, so um, we'll go with Mr. Furman's or Senor Furman's recommendation. So go out there and impress me. Okay, fingers crossed. Will that be the uh, the team talk that uh, brings home three points? Let's go and find out. In the opening match of the season. And away we go on key highlights as normal. Yes. As we um, wait for our first highlight to come up. Um, and finally a highlight. And it's uh, UP Langro in an all-white strip. With possession, yeah. so this will this lead to maybe a goal? Mm, probably for the opposition. Or well, hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, we're in a sort of like a dirty grey, which is our sort of th- is it our third choice strip? I, th- I call that more of a white. Is it? Mm. Oh, maybe my glasses are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it looks more white than grey. Anyway, um, it's Bergen Tenos with the uh, the possession. Yeah, but oh. uh, Pavita robbed his man very well, and this is Perez. He's come back quite deep. Oh, he's been only robbed. To lose. Yes. <laughs> to so uh, oh. both teams giving up possession. Anyway, uh, decent Oops. looking cross. Oops. Ooh, Oops. Oh. Just over the bar. Yeah. The opening uh, attack for Bergentinos. Not too many away fans behind our goal. No, there's uh, normally not too many travelling fans, but um, we'll try and call out a bit of encouragement to the boys. They're playing away from home on day one of the season. So expectations aren't high, but um, we'd like to see them acquit themselves. Well, we, I was just looking at the um, stats. We, we, we had the majority of um, possession, which was interesting, but this is a nice ball, and Sanande... He's onto it. And oh, he finishes it good beautifully. Finish. He actually had a um, a very good preseason, uh, Sanande. He scored some really good goals, and that was typical of his finish. Well, he, he scored one just like that in the final preseason match mm. when he got through one on one, and he just uh, rifled it into the back of the net, and he's done it here. So Kisun with the pass, Sanande runs onto the ball, and a great finish. It was very good. Good, um, good first touch as well. So uh, that's one, a good start. One nil to the good guys. Still plenty of uh, football to follow, of course, but it um, gives us a little bit of encouragement. Yeah. 
Yeah, interesting to see how Torre goes uh, goes in goal because he had his cranky pants on with us for most of the last season because he um, he couldn't break into the first team squad. So now he's got his chance. We uh, we hope to see him improve. Well, he trains like a wally every week. <laughs> um, his training is absolutely pathetic. Yeah. Um, so uh, he, he's got to perform on match day. Otherwise, uh, the new guy, Rodriguez, will be between mm. the sticks. Mm. Yeah. So... Uh, Kisson again on the ball. He oh, is. Sanande oh, through oh, the middle. He's beaten the offside track again. And oh. there it is. 2-0. Oh, well, and he's the fellow we promoted from our B team last uh, last season. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good to see that uh, he's actually um, he's actually making all the uh, making all the inroads and living up to potential for us. Well, there's a lot of um, competition for the uh, striking position or positions this this season. There's quite a few strikers who would like to get into the uh, the starting eleven. Mm. So I guess you um, you have to perform if you uh, you get the opportunity. Well, Perez was another guy who came up from the under 19s I think last year as well. So yeah, it's nice to see the youngsters coming through. Yes, and uh, Kusun doing very well in midfield with two assists already. Mm. Yeah, no, he's done well. He's done well, and of course Sanande with uh, with two good finishes. But. Uh, Let's not um, count our chickens because uh, there's still plenty of football to go. But um, and considering they've had uh, more shots than us, although the possession, 61% to um, Languio. Yeah, quite, um, yeah, quite unusual balance of stats there. And five corners to one. You work that out. <laughs> right. Can we hold out to half time? Ooh, Ooh, do it, stung his palms. Uh, Torres, or Torre. I wasn't, I wasn't expect, expecting that sort of uh, shot. No, well, Torre did well to to keep it out. Well, there we are, 2-0 um, at half-time. Um, pretty entertaining um, opening 45 minutes. Let's go and chat to the boys. Yeah, XG would suggest that they're still in the game, but uh, goals suggest otherwise. Okay, uh, we're going to point the old finger as we do at half time, and we're going to say that we're very happy. Yeah. Keep it up, lads, because uh, you've got to be away from home on the opening day of the season, and you're up 2 0. Have to be happy, and um, we are. So we just need to make sure that we keep uh, Bergantinos out of the game for as long as possible. Uh, that's right, yes, we don't want to see complacency um, settling in. Well, Torre with the with the ball, building it up from the back, which is what we want to, which is what we want to see. Although that's a pretty poor ball to give away possession quite easily. Yeah, a bit of a long ball out of defence, but they put uh, one over the top, and now that's uh, going to beat him. Torres, Tor Torre came out uh, and did nothing. Uh, he was in no, no man's land. They had one player up there. They had three defenders and a goalkeeper, and he's still. Yeah. Well. I don't think the keeper should have um, but look, come off his line. He, yeah. He, uh, he left himself exposed. But anyway, um, they pulled one back and that's the danger. Yeah, which is what we didn't want. So might have to give him a bit of a rev up. But uh, it's uh, they're not playing too badly. Some Maybe some of the attributes have dropped a little bit. But um, anyway, this is Ike Rodriguez with a very deep... Cross mm. for young Perez. Now Vega. Go. Our captain. Now Kusun. Oh, boy. Hits the crossbar, did it? Uh, yeah, goal kick. Goal oh. kick. So, first woodwork shot of the day. I think it's 1-1 uh, one, one with uh, the woodwork. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, um, okay, we made uh, two quick substitutions with uh, Ruiz and Mariscal coming on, but here's a... Uh, set piece to defend and oh boy just over the bar mm. they're looking a little bit dangerous in this uh, second half yes we need to recapture a little bit of that form from the first half we, looks like the the boys haven't switched on at all from this second half no maybe that team talk wasn't the uh, the right one to give it half time and oh gee he got his foot to that he did he did he almost uh, got it on target 
But uh, the highlights are coming through thick and fast. And they all seem to be against us as well. So So Barzak with a good defensive header, but they keep possession. Yeah, that was our problem last year with clearing the ball. Oh, Oh, boy. (laughs) That was almost an own goal. (laughs) Ruiz, what are you doing, son? (laughs) He deflected it directly into his keeper. But another set piece, another header, oh, just over the bar. Christ, we've been defending all of this second half. We have. It's. Um, I think. Uh, I think we'll um, demand a little bit more from the boys because it was such a good opening forty-five minutes. Another highlight against us. Another set piece. It's deep. Oh, don't challenge him. Big deflection. Okay, we made three more substitutions to uh, line up. Get some fresh legs on the pitch. Yeah, looking at our. Fresh legs in in defence may also need to maybe turn the turn the tempo. Oh, so <laughs> he really backed himself there. <laughs> he did. I thought he was going to maybe cross it for his partner, but um, and we look at a little bit of time wasting and turning down our tempo, perhaps. Yeah, well, um, we brought on uh, what Kobo was it Ruiz and Manus or Fernandez and Manus. Hmm. I think they came off the bench, but. Uh, with a bit so, of luck, we might be hanging on to this. Yeah, interesting uh, way to spell Fernandez's surname. Oh, Kisson loses oh, out. And here we this. go. This is... Oh, oh, dear, dear, dear. Equaliser, 2-2. Two, two. Kisson, that was always on the cards, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't looking good, I must admit. But... Um, it's a little bit disappointing when we see this replay and Kusum had had such a great first half. He lost possession hmm. and midfield and it's cost us um, a second goal. So yeah. um, Blown a two-goal lead. Indeed we have. Four minutes of out of time. If it stays a 2-2, I won't be disappointed so disappointed um, getting a point away from home on the opening day of the season but maybe I've spoken too soon and I have I don't believe it (laughs) 3-2 bullshit wow this is football manager Um, gee whiz uh, 2-0 lead at half time and we've um, blown it in the second half we've blown two goals in what five or six minutes I mean very easy just a through ball where was our defenders and our goalkeeper. Well, he's now rating maybe 6.4 or, or less. Mm. So um, what looked as though it was going to be a great opening game of the season away from home has turned into... Um, Quickly turned to custard. A very disappointing one. And there we have it. Full-time 3-2 to Bergon Tenos. And looking at those stats, I guess you can't argue... We've had much more possession, 58%, but they've had 24 shots to 12, much better XG, mm. and uh, seven corners to two. Let's go and chat to the boys. Mm. Okay, well, um, it's all over. We, uh, we've lost the, uh, the three points. Let's point the finger and tell the boys we're not happy with mm. that performance. We'll go with the assistant's recommendation. Let's go and see how the rest of the competition fared on the opening day. Well, so far only two other matches played today and Aaron Tiro and Pontevedra both came away with the three points. I guess uh, we can't read too much into this on the opening day of the season, but it's a little bit disappointing that we lost three goals to two. So let's go and find out who we're going to play next. Well, as you can see, in three days' time, we're uh, home to Compostela in the league. But uh, I think what we'll do, we'll play um, maybe up to four games offline so Compostela, Deportivo, Santander B and uh, Leoa, I think that's how you pronounce them, yeah. uh, we'll play those four games on, on offline and then we'll come back for another home game uh, against Lanira. Yeah, I think that'll be, uh, that, that'll be the tactic and um, yeah, hopefully uh, the boys have improved and they're back in the winner's circle. Well, um, I hope so, because it was so disappointing. A very good pre-season with no defeats and uh, leading 2-0 away from home on the opening day of the season, and we blew it in the second half. That was uh, really pisses me off. <laughs> it's the way the mop flops. Indeed it does. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you have enjoyed video number 12 for um, Antipodean Journey. 
Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him.